Okay guys, it's time to get over here and check out some new MK11 news. In that we got a new trailer and it also looks like we got some new character reveals. Now we do have combat cast today, but um, yeah, we do have combat cast, which is the uh, is going to reveal a new character. But it looks like in the trailer it revealed three new characters already. But let's get let's talk about the story first and foremost. Um, first and foremost, the trailer uh, looks great. It's very much talking about Kronika and her whole ideas that yeah, she she's been the one who manipulated everything leading up to MK Armageddon. But since Raiden essentially canceled the apocalypse. Uh, Kronika's pissed off and now has teamed up with villains and heroes from both the past and future, hence why Baraka is still alive, hence why we have Shao Kahn in here. So, it looks like, yeah, she's made her own Legion of Doom from time travel. It's kind of like, um, Kronika is very much rem reminiscent for me of Kang the Conqueror from Marvel Comics. She is very much like a Kang the Conqueror character. Um, you know, getting all these allies from past and future, manipulating events so that she's the one on top. Yeah, it's very... I can clearly see that, you know, uh, Ed Boon and the guys at Netherrealm clearly base Kronika off of Kang. Um, so that's really cool. I dig Kang the Conqueror, so I'm totally down for Kronika uh, being a main villain. And it's always cool to hear Jennifer Hale, the voice actress for Kronika. I always like uh, Jennifer Hale as a villain. She, she has a good villain voice as much as a hero voice. There you go. Um, anyway, so uh, what I like about this trailer is that we get to see that, you know, this is clearly time travel. I love, you know, young Johnny Cage meeting old Johnny Cage, and neither Johnny Cage is like, ex like they're totally cool with the fact that they're talking to the future and um, vice versa, the younger versions of themselves. Like, they're totally down with that. And the biggest problem young Johnny Cage has with this whole situation is that there's no jetpacks in the future. <laughs> there's no jetpacks. I'm like, that's, that's typical Cage right there. That is very much typical Cage. Uh, we also get hints that Liu Kang is, pl Remnant Liu Kang, uh, is and Katana are planning an invasion on out on Earthrealm, which is cool because that really builds into what was going on in MK uh, in MKX. In that you know Katana and Liu Kang now rule the Nether Realm, and it also will explain like where Jade's loyalty may lie in the game. Because remember, when Jade got revealed, um, she was revealed to be a remnant. So it's kind of pro it's very possible that Liu Kang she's going to be on the side of future Liu Kang and Katana in this upcoming, uh, war. So, yeah, obviously, probably not on the side of angels this time around. Uh, but we'll probably get past Katana as well. We'll probably get past, um, and that'll be a cool fight to see. Uh, what I also liked about this trailer was that, um, what I also dug about this trailer was that we got to see more showcase of other characters. We got to see, um... Three, like I said, we got pretty much three, we got three characters all but revealed, and all of them are MKX characters. Those being Aaron Black, uh, Jackie Briggs, and Cassie Cage. Basically the three characters everyone likes from the, from the, uh, from the, from the, from the, from the MKX game. Now, I dig Aaron Black, just an immortal cowboy. Maybe we'll get more of his story, because they let, the, the whole thing of him being immortal and from Earthrealm, um, they didn't really go too deep into his backstory in MK in MKX, so maybe we'll get a little more in here. Like maybe they're time traveling, and they see like, oh, that's what happened to you. Okay, uh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. And I did Cassie and Jackie as characters. Definitely, like I've really done. Like the thing is, is like I know a lot of people complain that oh, there's too many new characters in Mortal, you know, in Mortal Kombat X. I'm like, yeah. Because it would be kind of boring if we just had the same characters over and over again, wouldn't it? Like, come on. I know it's cool when we get new care like, if we got, like, Motaro or Rain or something like that. If we got characters, you know, from more other Mortal Kombat games, that would have been fine. But at some point, we'd be bored of just getting the same characters over and over again, wouldn't we? We'd all be bored of that. So, I'm totally fine for when you bl bring in new blood to spray on the walls. That's all I'm saying, is that I don't mind it when we get new characters in here. Oh yeah, I forgot, we also had Devora, but she was revealed earlier, so yeah. So now we have four characters coming back from MKX. Um, uh, 
uh, almost forgot about Devora, but yeah. So I'm totally fine when we get new char you know, when new characters come into a fighting game because it gives us, you know, a, you know, new characters to fawn over, and it gives us, you know, new new options, new playable options. So I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine for when we get new characters in here. Um, and I know a lot of people are. I looked at the polls recently, and everyone's really excited for Cabal, which is totally, you know, which is cool. I dig Cabal. Um, although I was more, I don't know why, but I was a little more excited to see Jade back than Cabal. But, hey, I'm not complaining. Um, I guess for other things in this trailer was just, it was just a cool, some cool action sequences. Um, and I'm gonna make a small confession right here, guys. I'm gonna make a quick, small confession right about now. And this may be a little controversial, but hear me out first. I'm not totally digging Ronda Rousey as Sonya Blake. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I like Ronda Rousey just fine. But I don't know if she was the right person to cast as Sonya Blade. You know, to voice Sonya Blade. Because I've been listening to the trailer as well as a lot of the uh, in-game uh, dialogue with her from what we've seen of the beta. I don't know. It just seems like she's giving a half ass performance, doesn't it? Like, I can't be the only one thinking that this performance just feels like she's not, like, I don't know if that was the best take they had, or they just wanted some star power. I don't know what's going on, but, like, I'm just not feeling it. Maybe if I actually get the game and play it, maybe my mind will change. But there's, like, some moments in this trailer, and from the previous trailer we've had with, uh, that have her in small dose, have her voice in small doses, I'm just kind of like, I'm just not feeling it. Like, and I know this is really a controversial thing to say, because the game's not even out yet. And I want, you know, um, but still, like, it just doesn't, like, it doesn't feel right. Like, maybe it'll sound better in the game. That's all I'm saying. Like, maybe it'll sound better. But I'm just like, uh, like, uh, Ronda Rousey has not done voice acting before, and I don't know why they suddenly decided to get Ronda, uh, you know, Rousey to play Sonya instead of keeping the same voice actress they've had um, from the previous games, so I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, I know, like, I, again, the game's not even out, and I'm, you know, I'm complaining about a voice, I'm not really complaining, I'm just like, I can't be the only one thinking when you hear those lines from her, you're like, this doesn't sound believable, like, it doesn't sound like she's trying, I don't know, like, it can't be just me, right? It can't be just me, and I know I'm, oh, God, I'm sorry, guys, I'm just like, it just doesn't sound believable for me. I don't know, maybe, again, maybe it's just me. So you guys tell us in the comments below, what did you guys think of the MK11 tra uh, story trailer? Did you guys like it, hate it? What other characters are you hoping to see? Are you guys excited for Jackie, Cassie, and Aaron to come back? Are you guys excited for them? Uh, just comment below, let us know. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. And what do you think of Ronda Rousey as... Uh, Sonya Blade. Do you guys like it? Hate it? I don't know. Just comment below, let us know. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.